Hi, my name is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadang. Today, I'm going to talk about tillage. When it comes to modern era of farming, it is easy to imagine the machines tilling soil for after harvest. But if you actually farm, it is not so desirable for small scale and medium scale farm. Nowadays, many people learn a lot of agriculture technology where using machinery takes big part of the farming. But who made this technology? To be honest, it is the farm machinery corporations that made their own existing technology to make farmers become more dependent on their product and service. And to solve this problem of continuous expenditure by depending on machines, we need to think outside of the box on existing technology. Only then, farming for farmers will come true. There are many things to care while farming, but most importantly, good soil management is essential. As you can see in the picture of tree, what is seen is reality of invisible. If you are able to make roots wide and deep and well, this means the farming will mostly become successful. And this is the most important part, but often ignored. As you can see in the picture, if you have a lot of new roots, that means there are gonna be new stems. And by that means, plant will be healthy enough to bloom many flowers and fruits. When roots have become deep and wide, the plant will be able to secure the abundant amount of moisture, nutrient, and minerals for its own robust growth. And yes, all farming technology concentrates on expanding the roots wide and deep. But in modern era of farming, there is an obstacle for root growth. Like we talked about a while ago, uh, using machines. And I admit people have no choice but to use when it comes to large areas to cover. However, the current situation I mentioned is two acres. It is possible without machines. The tractor passes several times each year. Up to seven meters of soil, it will be hardened. If you look at it, you'll end up leaving tire marks all over. The soil seems softened as you keep chop the ground, but the actual inside becomes very hard and this compacted soil becomes quite serious problem for root growth and on top of that every year people are adding chemical pesticide herbicide chemical fertilizer and those chemical gets accumulated in the top soil and if you cut the cross section of the current soil a most soil surface contains a lot of pollutants and this is not just a problem for few it is very common serious problem anywhere in the world using large tractors. And this problem will eventually mess up your roots. In the old days, when no country had compacted soil, you couldn't pull pepper plants. But nowadays, the roots are messed up. It is easily pulled out. As you can see from this picture, in the soil with no compacted layer, the roots grow deeper as time passes. But if you look at the picture on the right, the roots have stopped its growth because of the compacted layer. And that is why the yield is sharply reduced. So how can we get high yield? So let me explain the techniques. And it is very simple. First, is no tillage. Second, sprinkle compost on the surface. Then third, is using Jana microorganism solution. And for this, I have invented my own method to cultivate microorganisms with very affordable price and powerful effect. If you know this simple three, I believe you can also get high yield. And this is a Jana microorganism solution recipe for simple cultivation by utilizing potato, leaf mold soil, and salt. And for this, I'm going to explain it in detail later. So after cultivation, if you spray the solution on the soil, you can absorb the fascinating effects of it. The roots start to spread well, and that is the path where it leads to the high yield. And from now on, let me teach you order by order how it's done without tillage. First, line up the soil, 
and use the white sand to mark the line. And from here, I'm going to use small rotary tractor just for the first and the last time. So this is how it looks like when I was preparing for the soil. It may look silly, but it does not compact the soil. And I believe this is at least better way of securing your plant growth. And even if you spray compost on the surface, there is no problem at all. And you don't have to till the ground for that. Apart from this, I also had to consider the high temperature failure due to climate change. And to prevent temperature damage, I have used landscape fabric instead of normal black plastic mulch. And product made in Korea will last only for 7 years. But some German brands are capable of lasting at least 20 years. And let me show you how it's all done. As you can see, the landscape fabric is centered and scatter the compost on the top and after scattering, roughly spread it. Then unfold the landscape fabric to cover. This process is repeated every year. Furthermore, I plant pepper in the same spot as well. Very simple, isn't it? I'm currently farming on two acres and this is how it looks. And currently there are more than 60 different kind of crops and believe it or not I haven't tilled a soil for five years all I need was this small rake for preparing the land as you can see the peppers and tomatoes are growing well and tall in open air and it has been very successful and I also grow cucumber and capsicum inside the greenhouse and uh, which is also very perfect this is a screen capture of my other video where I'm standing in open field between pepper trees that I grow. And the average height for pepper tree is about 1.5 meter. And that is three times more than conventional practice. By testing myself without tilling the soil, 
I found that it is actually much more beneficial for plant growth. Cucumber farming is also very well done, even in an open field. Tomatoes were also planted and harvested. And these results are something really hard to imagine with the conventional theories. As you can see, everything is done without tillage. And that too even with testing 60 different kinds of vegetables. And there hasn't been any problem. The lettuce was clean and really delicious. This is a red lettuce and that's broccoli. I also planted 100 paprika trees inside a greenhouse. And it is also growing very well. As you can see, every year I'm doing research to solve difficulties converting to organic and ultra low cost farming. With decade of research, I was able to publish Jadam Organic Farming book, which contains all the information about correct way to be successful in organic farming with very low cost, but also very sufficient and effective way of farming. This book is not just in Korean, but also translated into four different languages, including English, Spanish, Japanese, and Mandarin. And there is a hundred herbs book, which contains whole information about characteristics of 100 different kinds of herbs that are effective for natural pesticide use. You can purchase the book from Amazon, just type Jadam Organic Farming, you will be able to find without hassle. The aim of this two book is to bring farming back to farmers. And I hope this book can be really helpful to the farmers who are struggling. And apart from the book, we also do have seminar once or twice a month in Daejeon, Korea. During the seminar, we talk about better understanding of organic farming in detail and each and everything about complete solution to pest and disease control. And unfortunately, the course is in Korean. But we also have an international tour occasionally with interpretation. For that, we'll keep you an update on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you with interesting content in the next video.